For the assessment, first, assess the woman with factors that predispose to poor uterine tone or inability of her uterus to maintain a contracted state, such as conditions that increase for postpartum hemorrhage. Obtain the mother's blood pressure and heart rate. Blood pressure drops abruptly due to vaginal bleeding. Check for loss of blood that leads to hypovolemic shock. Falling blood pressure, a rapid, weak or thready pulse, increased and shallow respiration, spill, clammy skin, and increasing anxiety. Estimate the amount of blood by counting the number of perineal pads saturated in giving length of time, such as half-hour intervals, a rough estimate of the amount of blood loss can be formed. For the planning, Position the woman on her side when inspecting for blood loss to be certain a large amount of blood is not pulling undetected beneath her. Palpate a woman's fundus at frequent intervals to be assured her uterus is remaining contracted. Implementation Explain the necessity for the procedure and provide privacy. Good day, ma'am. I'm Crystal. I will be your nurse for the day. I will render a fundal massage to control vaginal bleeding and encourage uterine contraction. Help to decrease anxiety and providing privacy enhances self-esteem. Ask the patient to void unless the bleeding is extensive and more rapid action seems necessary. Ask her to lie supine with knees flexed. Before we begin the procedure, ma'am, I would like to assist you to urinate to lessen the pressure and avoid discomfort. An empty bladder prevents displacement of the uterus and ensures accurate assessment of the uterine tone. Proper positioning enhances visualization and effectiveness of the procedure. Put on gloves. Place one hand on the abdomen just above the synthesis pubis. Place the other hand around the top of the fundus. Ma'am, I'm going to start to massage your fundus by placing my one hand on your abdomen just above your symphysis pubis, while my other hand is around the top of your fundus. This anchors the lower uterine segment and allows you to locate and assess the fundus. Rotate the upper hand to massage the uterus until it is firm. Being careful not to over massage. Ma'am, I am now rotating my upper hand to carefully massage your uterus in order to encourage uterine contraction. Massage should be done when the uterus is not firm, and aggressive massage may lead to a partial or complete uterine prolapse. When the uterus is firm, press the fundus between the hands using the slight downward pressure against the lower hand. I can now feel that the uterus is firm. I will now press your fundus between my hands with slight downward pressure against my lower hand. Gently squeezing with downward pressure help to expel blood or clot and the amount of bleeding. Remove and observe the woman's perineum for the passage of clots collected in the uterine cavity. Ma'am, please allow me to check your perineum in order to remove the passage of clots and estimate the amount of your vaginal bleeding. This helps to assess the degree of bleeding. Massage the uterus one more time to be certain it remains firm. Cleanse the perineum and apply clean perineal pad, discard gloves and soiled pads according to agency policy. Ma'am, we are almost done. I will do a fundal massage one more time just to make sure that your uterus is firm. I am now done with the procedure. I am now cleaning your perineum. And afterwards, I will apply clean perineal pads. This helps to promote comfort and hygiene while reducing the risk of infection. Documentation Document the result of the procedure. Notify to assess the fundus and lochia according to agency policy. Notify the primary care provider if the fundus does not remain firm or if bleeding continues. 
After the procedure, I will document the result of the procedure and I will continue to assess the fundus and lausia and I will notify the primary care provider if the fundus does not remain firm or if the bleeding continues. Documentation providing means for evaluation. Continued assessment allows for rate, early identification and prompt intervention with additional measures such as oxytocin to prevent hemorrhage.